Yes! Yes, guys! Yes! I've never done this before. Yes! <laughs> Every single time I see you, there is a joy that fills my body that I cannot control. <laughs> thank you so much for being on the show. Wow, thanks. This is, this is really exciting for so many reasons. One, because everybody loves you. You're one of oh. the funniest human beings <laughs> in existence. <laughs> and genuinely, this film that you are in is getting Oscar buzz, and I think for all the right reasons. Like, you are phenomenal in this movie, and oh, you're playing a character you. you've never played before. No, I'm playing, uh, Lee Israel is the main character. She uh, is a real person or was a real person. She's a difficult, prickly, um, challenging writer who suddenly was told she was obsolete and was no longer allowed to write, kind of got backed, in, backed into a corner and started forging and impersonating um, literary letters of like just greats of Dorothy Parker, Dorothy right. Howard, and then was caught by the FBI. <laughs> so, no, it's, a, it's the first time with her, but I really kind of loved her. That, that's an interesting <laughs> idea, because when you watch this character and when you watch this movie, I w the whole movie I was waiting to like her. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna like her. It's Mrs. McCarthy, I'm gonna like this character. And then I was like, I kinda hate her. Oh. And, then, and then, I, then, I, then it started changing again. Then I was like, no, she's hustling. Like, it was a really different role to see a person play, because it's set yeah. in New York, and she's trying to make ends meet, and she starts defrauding people, really, by selling forged letters. But you... Really you... good forged letters. Right, great forged letters. Yeah, really great. But, like, it's, it's weird to play somebody who's not likable and yet liked by some. I know. Well, I felt... I had the same feeling, because about a quarter of the way into the first time I read the script, I was like, I kind of like her a lot. What did you like and about then, her? But then I thought about it, and it literally made me stop reading it for a second, and I was like, well, why? And I couldn't figure out, there's nothing tangible she had done to make me like her. She's, she was difficult. Like, every story about her right. involves, like, oh, and then Lee was Lee. And <laughs> made, it, she made it terrible for all of us. And then she'd say something, you know, witty and sarcastic and walk away. And, like, somehow people were, a very small amount of people, but were friends with her. But I don't know. I think it was just the thought of these are her defense mechanisms and what does everybody do to kind of protect themselves. And right. It was not in her best interest. I mean, we had a, uh, one of our producers, Ann Carey, always tells a story that, um, you know, she spent 10 years trying to take Lee's memoir, which is the film's based on, to a film, and that she would meet her out for dinner. Lee was always there early. And then it wouldn't be until dinner was over, Lee would get up, walk away really quickly, and then she'd realize that she'd been sitting there for a while, having quite a few drinks, putting it on her bill. And when dinner was over, she was like, bye, and, like, took <laughs> off, which is terrible, but then you kind of... You're kind of like, it's great. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that says about me, but I'm like, oh, I kind of love her. I think it says that you are a grifter. That's what it says. <laughs> yes. Deep down inside you, there is a Nigerian prince. Yes. That's what it means. Uh, <laughs> That's what it all, means. You'll all be getting my letters and emails soon. <laughs> but, but you know what I, I found interesting in the story? And maybe it was just me. I found myself watching a story about a woman who was working through a really hard time. It's, it's set in New York yeah. in the 1990s, and it's really beautifully, like, completely set in New York. And you have this, 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 this woman who is described by many people as prickly yeah. or, or, you know, like, hard or... But when you see, like, a lot of male characters play the same kind of thing, people just be like, oh, driven or, like, you oh, know... Oh, he like won't rugged. back down. Exactly, he, he won't his, back his down. His convictions. Right. And then she was just like, ugh, she's unbearable. I'm like, well, I think, I think there's a... You know, I think that happens all the time. Right. I mean, it's almost cliche that it's, it's like so many people still kind of make that reference of, like, why would you want to play someone unlikable? I'm like, because we're all unlikable. At times, I mean, everybody, I think all the people you love, you love because of their weird eccentricities and right. their quirks and their tics, and we all have them. So to try to play someone without all of those things, I wouldn't know how to do it. It's, it's a beautifully moving film, and it's great to see you playing you. it. I know you're doing more dramatic roles now, and uh, I hope you don't stop comedies, because, I mean, I, that, that's, that's where I love you as well. But one thing you've done that I found really impressive is in Hollywood, you have always fought. Like, you fought for yourself, you fought for what you believed in, you fought for what you believe you deserve, and rightfully so. But you, you were, like, one of the first actors who I saw come out and say, like, hey, I don't care if I'm a woman, I want my money. <laughs> and... <laughs> you have, though. <laughs> Unashamedly and deservingly. And, and you are now one of the top earning actors in Hollywood because of that. Like, you, you, why was that? I mean, other than the money itself, other than the money itself, why was that so important? I think it's, I mean, I, I 
I don't know, my husband always says like fists of justice. I just, <laughs> I think if everybody's getting $2 and everybody's getting the same types of parts and everybody's, I, I don't think that people can't have different things, but I just think if you're doing, if you're doing the same work, right. there should be the same, you know, there should be the same work and benefit to everything. Just as I used to read things all the time and just wonder where's the part? Where's the part? Like, why is the guy so interesting? Why is the guy so flawed and complicated? And then why is the woman just going, John, <laughs> John, Tom, Sam? These are like, here's, here's like six years of auditions for me. Bob, Bill, Tom. And I just, I was like, I was like, I'm not skilled enough to just keep saying people's names in a, in a kind of bored, uh, over it fashion. I but was you like, do it really well. well I'm not gonna lie. Like I, like I would hire you right now. I'm like, if you were saying, I'd be like, yeah, I'm gonna hire you. This is really just a plug for my new show, John, Jim, and Bill Tom. <laughs> You'll love it. It's just, it's that. That was the whole show, really. Right. But 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 you really, you've really been all about that. Is like growing the roles. I mean, you you you're somebody. You have to who's ask not... for what you want. Right. And you've started creating what you want as well, which I've which I've really appreciated as well, because you're you're part of creating the movies, writing the movies with your husband. It's it, the is there fun a... of it. Right. For me, it's the f I mean, it's the fun of it. And the the really great thing was that we ended up we one we can work together. I mean, I met my husband Ben at the Groundlings Theater in L.A. and we met writing and performing, and that's why I kind of grew to be crazy. Kind of, I shouldn't have qualified it with. I kind of like him. Um, <laughs> I like you a lot, honey. <laughs> that was the one time I couldn't find the camera. It still seems insincere. Um, <laughs> no, it's like, you know, that's how we met. And that was like the joy of it and doing it ourselves. Like, I want to be part of all of it. I want, I want the workload from it. I want the fun of it. I want the challenge. I want the nerves. I want everything. I think the whole thing is, uh, is, is part of the joy of what, you know, we get to do. Right, it truly was a joy watching you in this film as well. Um, if somebody goes into the film and they're expecting to see the Melissa McCarthy that they know from everywhere else, and, and then they see you in this, what's the one thing you'd want them to take away from your character? You know, because there's, there's like you said, there's so many layers to people that we yeah. don't know. There's so many shells that people have. What is the one thing you hope people don't miss about your character? Well, I, I think I took away quite a bit from Lee, and, and for me at least, and I hope other people get this, is to like look up and actually see people. I think there's so many people that we pass and that almost become invisible to us, and everybody at some point needs to be seen. If, even if it's for a second, if it's for a second on the street where you actually can make eye contact with someone right. and that person feels like, I am here, someone saw me, that will snowball, and then they'll look at somebody else, and we tend to all be so concentrated on our phones and devices that I'm not. I'm a, a dinosaur that, like, I can't, I don't email, I, I don't do any of that, I'm, uh, which frustrates many people. Right. And but dinosaurs I, are always I, looking at people when you watch the movies. Actually, it's really true, guys. It. They always dinosaurs look at you. Look up. But since I'm not on my device, right. I usually am sitting in a room watching people all do this, and no one's looking at each other. I'm like, oh my god, you have to connect with people. And the, Lee made me very much realize like how lonely and isolated she was. And when she meets Jack, played by Richard E. Grant, who's tremendous in the film. They're very unlikely friends, but right. they, they both just needed somebody to see, to see them. That's so beautiful. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you. And good luck with Oscar. I'm excited for it. Can you ever forgive me? Can be seen in New York and LA October 19th and opens nationwide in the coming weeks. Melissa McCarthy, everybody.